Na, gde su oke? Zaklohe. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعاديات ضبحا فالموريات قدحا فالمغيرات صبحا فأثرنا به نقعا فوسطنا به جمعا إن الإنسان لربه لكنود وإنه على ذلك لشهيد وَإِنَّهُ لِحُبِّ الْخَيْرِ لَشَدِيدٌ أَفَلَا يَعْلَمُ إِذَا بُعْثِرَ مَا فِي الْقُبُورِ وَحُصِّلَ مَا فِي الصُّدُورِ إِنَّ رَبَّهُمْ بِهِمْ يَوْمَ إِذِ لَخَبِيرٌ أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم I seek refuge in Allah سبحانه وتعالى from Shaitan the outcast بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. وَالْعَادِيَاتِ ضَبْحَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying in this surah, وَالْعَادِيَاتِ ضَبْحَا By the stages that run, horses that run with panting. فَالْمُورِيَاتِ قَدْحَا Striking sparks a fire by their hooves when they're running fast. فَالْمُغِيرَاتِ subha And scour to the rage at dawn. فَأَثَرْنَ بِهِ نَقْعَ And raise the dust in clouds the while. فَوَسَطْنَ بِهِ جَمْعَ And penetrating forthwith as one into the midst of the foe. إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لِرَبِّهِ لَكَنُودِ Verily man, disbelievers, and generally all human being, is ungrateful to his Lord. وَإِنَّهُ عَلَى ذَلِكَ لَشَهِيدِ And to that he bears witness by his deeds. وَإِنَّهُ لِحُبِّ الْخَيْرِ لَشَدِيدِ And verily he is violent in the love of wealth. أَفَلَا يَعْلَمُ إِذَا بُعْثِرَ مَا فِي الْقُبُورِ Knows he not that when the contents of the grave are poured forth, all mankind is resurrected. وَحُصِّلَ مَا فِي الصُّدُورِ And that which is in the hearts, the breasts of men is made known. Allahu Akbar. إِنَّ رَبَّهُمْ بِهِمْ يَوْمَ إِذِ الْخَبِيرِ Verily, that day, the day of resurrection, their Lord will be well acquainted with them as to their deeds and will reward them for their deeds. <coughs> My respectable brothers, respectable sister, dear children and youth, the word adiyat in first sentence, adiyat, wal adiyat, dabha. So it is the name of the surah as well. So here you see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just like we say by Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can swear anything, just like sun, moon, earth, planets, stars. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala generally praising the horses, the riders as well, because they are the main people in old time when they do uh, strive in the uh, way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for jihad, for defending their countries. So how the horse is doing and they are under the control of the master, under the rider. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praising in first five sentences how they're running, how the sparks comes outside when they strike the, their hooves on the uh, st strong place or the stones or anything and how they attack early in the morning. Then he goes into the enemies and who is commanding them, who is controlling them? The master who is sitting on the horse. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us realize, look horse, it is a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you, human being, 
وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ We have given you a lot of respect. For what? Because we have given you wisdom. We have given you heart, the brain, understanding. So this is make the difference. Animals, they also have some kind of understanding, but not like us. A human being, we are all so creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a lot of respect because of this wisdom, understanding, brain and heart. You just give food to your animals, your horses. And how grateful that horse, you riding, you just pull left and right, he's absolutely following you. And the old time, my dear brothers, as you know, sometimes you see on the movies or dramas or nowadays, uh, I mean YouTube, there's a lot of sources to see how in old time when you go to the war, that is the real courage. You're defending yourself with the shield, you attacking and fighting against the enemies, you defending your country, you defending your deen, you defending your property, all these things. So that was the real bravery. Nowadays, I mean, sniper, they can do fire. Uh, thousand mile away, you just, uh, I mean, uh, one switch and the rocket goes miles and hundreds and thousand miles away. But that was, that was the real bravery. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praising those horses and telling us, look, you just give food. You just look after your, your horses. But look how they are obedient, even they don't care their life. Arrows are coming, swords are coming, attack happening again and again. They become injured many times, but still they obey their master. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Oh human being, you are very ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After these five sentences, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, By the horses and uh, all these uh, explanations, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praising them. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, How ungrateful the human being he is always behind the money he doesn't know which way he getting the money by hook and by crook halal and haram the main target is the money 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 so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inna al insana li rabbihi laqanud the insan a human being he is very ungrateful to his lot wa innahu ala dhalika la shaheed and he himself is witness what he is doing I know what I'm doing, you know what are you doing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling the situation of the human being, he is ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa innahu ala dhalika la shadeed and he is la shaheed and he is the witness what he is doing. And you know my dear brothers, in Surah Al Fajr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this little clips of the human being. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him a lot of blessings, the bounties, ni'mah, and he is enjoying, and he said, oh, alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased, is happy with me. Okay. And he says, فَيَقُولُ رَبِّي أَكْرَمًا This is the saying of a human being. Rabbi Akraman, my Allah, my Lord, has given me a lot of respect, honor, dignity, because I'm getting everything. And when, other way around, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests him sometimes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْسِمْ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, definitely I'm going to examine you. When there is a shadda come on the noon, it is called noon taqeed in Arabic grammar. So something emphasizes Something is must going to happen. Nablu definitely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to examine. And sometimes there is a big test. Those who are true believers, those who are performing the prayer, those who are doing charity, those who are doing hajj and umrah, those who are doing a lot of sadaqat, giving the zakat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still examine them. And that is in other way around you can say is kind of love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because examining Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to see you are you ungrateful are you grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
Are you showing patience? Are you losing your patience? So the believer, he says, Alhamdulillah, ala kulli haan. Everything is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I'm spending very nice and good life, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I'm going through difficult time, it is the test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, what a beautiful condition of a human being. In both conditions, he gets reward. He's spending good night, good, uh, good life. So he say, Alhamdulillah, oh Allah, I'm thankful to you, you have given me this. But when he's going through a difficult time, he say, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in both cases, he's getting reward. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I'm going to check you, I'm going to examine you. Be shay'im min al khawf from fear, from terror. Wal with hunger. Wanaqsim min al amwal, shortage of the wealth. Wal anfusi, yourself. Wal thamarat, and shortage of the fruits. So it means generally everything, there's the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is going to examine you. Okay? So what are you going to get? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you show patience, then وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, give glad tidings to those people, those who are showing patience. إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with those people, those who show patience. The ayah starts, يَا يُلَّذِينَ أَمَنُوا اسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالسَّلَاءُ O people, seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in difficult time with two things. Bisabri basala with patience and with prayer. In the Allah Sabirin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with those people, those who show patience. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes on your side, what do you want? But my dear brothers, to say is very easy. Practically, when we go through, then that is the time's real exam, real test. Do we show patience or we open the complaint box? This happened to me, that happened to me, why is it happening to me? I didn't do anything, I'm performing the prayer, doing charity, hajj, zakat, sadaqa, everything I'm doing. Why me? Why me? Sometimes we do like this way and complain, why is it happening to me? So that is the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes He tests you and sometimes because of your own mistake you suffer. There's mischief everywhere in the seas, in the land. What are you doing? And you're suffering. It is said in English, as you, sal, as you sow, so shall you reap. You're sowing the seed, you get the same crop. So what are you doing? You're going to check and you're going to face. So my dear brothers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الْإِنسَانِ رَبِّي لَكَنُوتِ And as I said in Fajr, Surah Al-Fajr, وَأَمَّا إِذَا مَبْتَلَاهُ فَقَدَرَ عَلَيْهِ الرِّزْقَ Then he says, فَيَقُولُ رَبِّي أَحَانًا Yes, Akhi. Do you know the number? If any brother sitting down here, his car is blocking the uh, main road. Okay? Yeah. Tesla is the name of the car? new for me I just know my car <laughs> okay so if any brother uh, sitting down here and please uh, remove your car and anyway, mashallah so that's the way of examining so what you do sometimes you do mistakes and because of your own mistake you're suffering sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just examine you and in one hadith holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said there's numerous ahadith, different topics. May yuridillahu bihi khayran in yufakih with deen. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to do something with you, he give you understanding of the deen. And there's another, may yuridillahu bihi khayran in yusab minhu. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to give you something and he involve you in some test, in some musibah, in difficult time. So it means through that musibah and difficult time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to delete your sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to forgive your sins. That's also the kind of love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes, my dear brothers, you see, a person is on deathbed and he's going through difficult time and some people, those who have not the knowledge, they say, oh my God, that fellow, that brother, he was going very difficult time. You don't know what he did. He was suffering at that time. We shouldn't say these kind of words. 
never ever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives the sin even death time you're going through difficult time allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives your sins you should never ever say this word you never know what he did you know front of the people he was good maybe inside he did something wrong look he's suffering no you have no right to judge anyone you see sometimes the people are smoking gambling quitting zina and other things you have no right to judge them to say oh allah will not forgive him that fellow will not go to the paradise who has given you this authority to judge someone and if person performing the prayer and he's good person you say oh definitely allah give him paradise allah is ghafur rahim he can give paradise to him we also looking for the paradise but we have no right to give the verdict because one hadith prophet muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a person does bad thing bad thing at the end he take the u turn start doing the good things he become the dweller of paradise and other way around the person is very good doing everything good one twist come in his life he turn the straight path he go to other way around he start committing the sin and he is ending with the sin and he went to the hell fire may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us so according to this hadith we have no authority to judge anyone Oh, he, he will not go to the paradise that he is going to the hellfire we have no authority to say this one so my dear brother sometime the time come a person changes himself person learns from his experiences but good people also this is the sign of the good people they get the lesson from the incident going around inna fi dhalika la ibratan li ulil absar those people who have wisdom understanding watching tafsiratan wa zikra li kulli abdin munib and they watching and there is guidance for those people those who come back towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity to sincere repentance so they learn the lesson what's going on so this is also the good sign of the believers when they look what's going on around that they repent sincerely maybe we involve in these kind of things what will happen to them that's why prophet muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when you see somebody is suffering do dua Alhamdulillahi alladhi afani mimma abtalaka bihi wa fadlani ala kathir mimman khalaqa tafdila Oh Allah I'm thankful to you I was complaining I have no shoes Oh my god I have seen someone has no feet Allahu akbar I was complaining I have nothing Look that person has not the arm How difficult for him to clean himself to eat to change the clothes that's why prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said read this dua if you see someone suffering is the test from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give shifa to that person may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sort out the problem we should have feeling sympathy and love and respect for that person but at the same time we say oh allah i'm thankful to you i'm fine my legs my arm my body my brain absolutely is working don't take as a granted be thankful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is the condition allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling the human being he is very ungrateful he does not thank to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa innahu ala dhalika la shaheed and he knows what he is doing wa innahu li hubbil khairi la shadid and he is violent to get the wealth and sometime may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide our youth subhanallah when you see sometime of you they are exemplary character believe me your heart become filled with full of joy full of happiness when you see the youth are coming to the masjid when you see the youth they reading the quran when you see the youth they waiting for the another prayer this is also positive thing these are our hopes but other way around some youth they mocking around they wasting the time so there are the different conditions inna al insana rabbihi lakanu wa innahu ala dhalika la shaheed wa innahu li hubbil khairi la shadid our youth want to become a millionaire very quickly nowadays they playing the games as i say i just know my car is toyota i don't know what other cars they know lamborghini they know this and because they play they play on the i mean uh, xbox or playstation they know every car even small small children they will tell you the i mean 10 15 the names of the cars so what happened through this they making the picture and ideas in their brain they want to be millionaire and this and that and this allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned wa innahu li hubbil khairi la shadid human being is violent to get the wealth 
There's nothing wrong to get the wealth. There's nothing wrong to become a successful businessman. The thing is that if you're earning lawfully, if you're spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that wealth is blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Usman Ghani radiallahu ta'ala, no, he was the millionaire, billionaire that time. So there's nothing wrong to earn but lawfully. Okay? So don't uh, find the shortcut way and getting the money halal ways. And you will be asked on the day of judgment. Allahu Akbar. Afala ya'lam idha bu'sira ma fil qubur. Oh people, don't you know? The time will come when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the order to all people come outside the grave. That is the day of reckoning. That is the day of judgment. That is the day of resurrection. All people will come outside their graves. Now, they're standing, assembly is going in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says, وَكُلُّهُمْ آتِيهِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فَرْدًا they will come in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one by one. Allah Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his mercy, his blessing forgive all of us. We are unable. If Allah asks us why you did this, why we will be in trouble. We will be in trouble. We want mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have a lot of shortcomings. We doing good deeds. We performing the prayer. But we hoping the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his mercy we can be successful. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call, Kulluhum atihi yawma al-qiyamati farda. On the day of judgment, they will come one by one, one by one. So that's very, very important. And what will happen? Afala ya'lam idha abu sirama. Now they came out. They are, the disbelievers, they always denied. Idha mitna wa kunna turaban wa idha ma. When we become the part of this earth, how can Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resurrect us again? Allah says, Allah, awwal khalqi nu'eed, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a, created you first time when you do the things first time it take time but second time become more easy but you thinking with your brain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is creator is khaliq he's qadir he just say kun everything is happen don't think way the way you thinking Allah doing like that for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first time and last time no problem for him he's Allah he is the creator the people will come out from their graves and what's going to happen my dear brothers I was studying this surah and when I reach within this point, Afala ya alam idha abusira ma fil kubur wa husila ma fil sudur. Wallahi, it is very, very difficult time, that one. When what is going on in the heart and our thoughts, our thinking, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment is going to expose all these things. And Allah will tell you the way you are thinking the way you have arrogance in your heart and uh, the way you're behaving with the people. This was the thinking about your fellow Muslim brothers. This was the thinking about your parents and brothers and sisters and the people in the community. This was the way you think you are superior. Other people, they are inferior. You are better. They are bad. What is in their heart? It will come out. Allah will expose you. But he brothers, believe me, Practically, if we think this way, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exposes us in this world, wallahi, we cannot face even our own children, our own wife, our own parents, our own brothers and sisters. Because sometimes you become angry, difficult situation of the person, the, the way you're thinking, the way you become aggressive, or you behaving with the other communities, your heart is full of hate, racism in your heart arrogance in your heart you say I'm better and these things if Allah expose you front of the person are we face anyone no we cannot face anyone and these things going on in this life Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says because the companion of Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam they become uh, very sad when uh, uh, these ayah, the last uh, ayah of Surah Al-Baqarah. Amana al-Rasoolu bima unzila min rabbi wal mu'minun kullun amana billahu malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusuli la nufarriku bayna ahdim min rusuli wa qalu sami'na wa atana ghufrana ka rabbana wa ilayk al-maseer la yukallifu allahu nafsan illa ma usala ma kasabat wa alayha maktasabat rabbana la tuakhizna in nasina aw akhtaqna A person says anything, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to ask him, the companion to become worried then Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, No. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala 
whatever is going on in your brain or in your heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not give you punishment until you practically what you thinking, you express, you say, oh practically you do it, then you get the sin. Otherwise, you will not get the sin. You think is something wrong, but you don't do it, you don't express with your tongue. Okay, you will not get the sin. Until you express, you say what you're thinking. Oh, you do what you are making the planning. Then, if you commit a sin, then you get the sin. But according to this ayah, on the day of judgment, Allah will expose, look, what you used to think about your fellow Muslim brothers. But we, let's hope to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in this world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not exposing us. We do dua, oh Allah, if we have shortcomings, oh Allah, don't expose us on the day of judgment. We should do dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise, the matter will be very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. It will come out what is in your breast, what is in your heart. Why? He knows. He has all news. He's watching. He knows. He's ala kulli shayin qadir. So my dear brothers, we should keep in mind Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us these are the things you're going to face on the day of judgment. And let's prepare, let's avail this chance, let's ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiveness, let's do sincere repentance, let's come back, let's take you turn towards the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. More you come closer, more you get the peace of mind, peace of heart, satisfaction of your soul, happiness and joy and comfort of your soul when you truly show obedience towards Allah and Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa وعلينا إلا البلاغ المبين اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم فرج هم المهمومين ونفس كرب المكروبين واقض الدين المدينين واشف مرضانا ومرض المسلمين ربنا اغفر لنا ولوالي دينا ولساتجتنا ولجميع المسلمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتوب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم صلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين برحمةك يا أرحم الراحمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد الله إلى هيلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك